Why, why in the world would God give us dull genealogies but dubious prophecies? You're right, we're born into this world alone. The Bible says there's no devil running the show, there's no spiritual warfare, there's nothing going on behind the scenes more than we can perceive. Then the Lord opened Balaam's eyes, and he saw the angel of the Lord standing in the path with a drawn sword in his hand. Balaam knelt and bowed with his face to the ground. The angel of the Lord asked him, Why have you beaten your donkey these three times? Look, I came out to oppose you, because what you are doing is evil in my sight. The donkey saw me and turned away from me these three times. If she had not turned away from me, I would have killed you by now and let her live. Balaam said to the angel of the Lord, I have sinned, for I didn't know you were standing in the path to confront me, and now, if it is evil in your sight, I will go back. Then he said, Don't be afraid, Daniel. Since the first day you began to pray for understanding and to humble yourself before your God, your request has been heard in heaven. I have come in answer to your prayer, but for twenty-one days the spirit prince of the kingdom of Persia blocked my way. Then Michael, one of the archangels, came to help me. And I left him there with the spirit prince of the kingdom of Persia. Now I'm here to explain what will happen to your people in the future, for the vision concerns a time yet to come. Daniel 12-14 God kept his plan secret so the rulers of this world could not undo it. Yet when I am among mature believers, I do speak with words of wisdom, but not the kind of wisdom that belongs to this world or to the rulers of this world who are soon forgotten. No, the wisdom we speak of is the mystery of God, his plan that was previously hidden, even though he made it for our ultimate glory before the world began. But the rulers of this world have not understood it. If they had, they would not have crucified our glorious Lord. Why isn't God more precise about his future plans? Why is that in code? Maybe for the same reason Eisenhower didn't want to disclose to the Nazis the exact where and when of D-Day or the secrets of the Manhattan Project. King Herod killing babies at Bethlehem to get rid of the Messiah. No, the devil can't stop God's plan, but he's going to try. Paul didn't willingly surrender his life the first time they wanted to kill him. He escaped. But Paul didn't escape to enjoy his fancy life. He survived to fight another day to help others escape. Paul was not openly accepted among believers just because he began confessing Christ. Paul had to meet with the elders in Jerusalem. Anyone maybe got to hear the apostles on the street proclaiming Christ, but I don't think just anyone got an invite to the private fellowships while they were being hunted by people like Paul. If I think my co-worker would use what I believe against me, Do I have to corner them and tell them everything I believe and then lose my job because I was insistent on dropping seeds on ground that is not fertile? God gave us a discerning spirit. If you're caught like Samson, like Stephen, God will give you strength and words of power. Do you have to commit suicide by cop by casting your pearls before swine or Isis? When Judas kissed Jesus and the guards surrounded him, It wasn't the first time they tried to capture Jesus. Reverse engineering. Human learns knowledge of an atom, and then some ruler wants to know how they can turn that into a weapon. The word of God is sharper than any two-edged sword. What are the odds the bad guys in high spiritual places don't study the word to weaponize it? When someone like Jordan Peterson lost his mind for a time, is it because he's messing with the word like someone messed him with a nuclear radiation and he wasn't protected? He was tinkering with things without the protective suit on.